it's Katie here from the Scrappy Sisters and today I am up with a layout for Mixed Media Frenzy. Um, as, as I said in one of my earlier videos, we have just recently discovered how to insert a picture <laughs> into our videos while we're while you're sort of watching us. So you can see in the top left corner I have put a picture of what we are using as our inspiration this month, the layout we used. If I can find the direct link, I will definitely link it in the description down below. Um, but that is it there. And I believe Dolly chose this one. I could be wrong, but I think it's Dolly. And I am adapting this sketch into a 9x12 format. So I've got this super cute photo of Link when he was, well, it was Christmas. So he was 11 months old um, and he's in his little elf outfit and he kept that hat on for all of about two seconds. But I got a picture. That's the main thing. Um, and yeah, I'm using that for this layout. So I'm pretty much just using the one vertical element that's in this sketch. So I'm getting my Distress Oxides. This one's in mm, the, the black, is it called? Black soot or something. Um, added a little bit of water and I'm just grabbing a paintbrush and I'm going to add some splatters along this line. So I'm using this sticker sheet just to mask off the area that I want the splatters to go. So similar to the sketch, I only want the kind of mixed media on the right hand side. So I'm using that, just the back of the sticker sheet to mask off and just because that was beside me, <laughs> um, you could use anything. But the good thing about this sticker sheet is it's scrap anyway and the stickers themselves don't get um, covered in ink and then I'm pretty sure I pull out my Liquitex ink I think yep in the copper color and use my paintbrush as well and I'm not adding any water or anything to this I'm just splattering it on kind of at its current consistency so it is much thicker than the Distress Oxides um, but it leaves slightly larger splatters which I think look cool and it's a really, I, I really like the Liquitex ink. I think Danny, um, Danny Visa recommended it to us and Jess actually got it for my birthday. She got me the white and the copper. So I'm going to use those. And I think when my next lot, which will be for ages, my next lot of gold mist runs out, I might try the gold Liquitex ink as well. It's just a little bit more, I guess, of a hassle because you have to drop it onto something and use a paintbrush to splatter. Whereas obviously with mists, you can just use um, the, the little pumpy tube bit that goes into the bottle as your kind of mister. Um, now, I have pulled out this paper from my stash. It's just a love heart paper. It's a grey. I wanted something, um, I guess, pretty monochromatic. So the layout itself is... The flowers are the focus uh, in the inspiration piece and they're sort of green. Um, so what I have done now, I didn't do this on camera because it will take a long time and I fussy cut everything out. Um, so I actually did it when I had some girlfriends over. We were crafting together um, and I stamped out a whole heap of flowers, some pine cones and some leaves using my Distress Oxides. And I will show you at the end uh, which Distress Oxides I used, but I'm pretty sure it was Festive Berries, Evergreen Bow, and hmm, there was another colour that I used. I don't remember what that colour was. Uh, anyway, definitely used three colours <laughs> um, to do my stamping. Oh, and I'm just stressing the edge of this paper strip. So this paper strip is going to form a vertical line down my page. As you can see, the back is silver um, and it's quite full on. <laughs> so I knew that I wouldn't use that side on a page, but the love hearts are super cute. So I'm just sticking this down straight onto my page. Uh, I think I have to dry off the mixed media first. <laughs> so you'll see me get my heat tool out. Yeah, here I am flapping the page around, trying to get it to dry. And I realized that I needed to get my heat tool. So I was going to edit this part out, but it really only takes a few seconds. Um, and so I, I just left the, 
entire process from start to finish in. I didn't do any cutting or anything. Um, so you have to watch me stick everything down. But I figured that you might like to see that. I know some people like to watch the full process. Um, so Mixed Media Frenzy, you guys have been around our channel for a while. You know, you probably already know about Mixed Media Frenzy. It's a little collaboration we have with, I think, about six other ladies. Um, all of their channels will be linked down below. So definitely go and check them out. Um, we are all use the same sketch as inspiration um, and we are just kind of getting messy and you know enjoying kind of practicing and playing with mixed media so I am by no means a mixed media expert and I guess in a lot of ways this isn't a super mixed media heavy layout and I guess it's classified I classified as mixed media because I have done a lot of stamping um, but I haven't stamped directly onto the page. So the only thing I've added to the page are my mists. That's it. Um, and I'm super interested to see how the others have interpreted this sketch. So I think it's easier for me using the 9 by 12 size because um, it kind of leaves out a couple of elements on the page. So I don't do that kind of extra little element on the far left of the original uh, inspiration piece. And I really just focus all of my mixed media down this central line. So here are the things that I have stamped out. So you can see I've got some pine cones, some flowers, sorry, and some leaves. And I've fussy cut all of them out. And now I am just adding some uh, dimensional adhesive to one side, but also tucking the rest in underneath this strip. And again, this is exactly what the inspiration piece did. <clears throat> oh, sorry, I'm losing my voice. Um, exactly what the inspiration piece did. And I am pretty much following that fairly closely. This is probably, um, of all of my layouts, probably one that I have followed quite closely with the inspiration piece. Often I go a little bit <laughs> uh, kind of into my own tangent, but this one I did um, keep it pretty consistent. Um so I'm, yeah, I'm really happy with how it turned out in the end. Very different to me for me, um, which is the point of this series. <laughs> I um, definitely went out of my comfort zone with all of the stamping that I did and the fussy cutting, but I'm really happy with how it all turned out. And I do show you at the end which stamps that I use. It's a stamp set from Stampin' Up called Painted Seasons. You can't get it anymore. Um, it was actually a celebration stamp set from a couple of years ago, I think. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with how it all came together and the pine cones were a nice little added touch. I hadn't even thought about using the pine cones, but in the end, I think they look super cute. Uh, so what am I doing? Oh, I'm sticking everything down. So I've stuck down all my flowers and I think I'm coming in with some leaves now that I'm sort of just tucking in in a couple of different places and the pine cones just add a little bit of interest add a few different colors onto the layout as well um, but I just kind of wanted the different the feel of the different textures even though it's all stamping and they all look the same <laughs> um, because the pine cones looked and the leaves look different than the flowers you know it kind of added a little bit of different interest I thought to my page so how are you all going I should sort of ask you are you enjoying our Christmas series um, we are loving making it all of our Christmas in July layouts we have scrapped a lot of Christmas um, so we are super excited with how it all kind of worked out um, and we were able to get most of our Christmas done I have finished my December daily and I will film a flip through and pop it up onto the channel so that's my 2019 December daily um, and I we, I didn't film, well, I filmed one process, um, but I will just film a flip through so you guys can see how it all came together. Uh, so I have popped my photo up on foam and I'm adding that kind of at a bit of a jaunty angle <laughs> onto mostly the center of the page. Um, I mean, it's slightly, the, the photo sits slightly on the right hand side, but it's sort of in the middle. Um, and I am just going to create another little cluster on the right hand side of the photo. Now the inspiration piece didn't have this, but I felt like for my layout, it definitely needed something else on that side to kind of tie it all together. So I just add one little flower, um, a little pine cone, and then a few leaves just to kind of bring those elements across the page and sort of frame my photo. 
uh, for me personally I just I liked how that looked I had to trim some of the stems off the leaves because I couldn't quite tuck them in where I wanted them to go so I needed to do a little bit of trimming just to get those leaves to fit in and poke out and then I am going to come in with my title now I, <laughs> I'm trying to use up my stash my Christmas stash I didn't do an amazing job I still have a lot of Christmas supplies left but I was really trying my hardest to use up a lot of my supplies uh, and so I really wanted to use a title um, from a thicker word set this one here um, and so this is a new one for me I got it um, at Christmas last year but I wanted to get at least one one bit of it used and it, it's that kind of rose gold color so it matched quite well with the copper splatters that I used um, and so I decided to add a few little leaf elements to the, the main clusters so I add one on the right hand side of my photo and then I add two into the left hand um, cluster just to kind of bring some of that copper element or rose gold elements in more than just one place and then I add my title which I end up using as stay cozy which I know is a little bit random because it's it's not winter <laughs> um, for us for our summer our summer sorry Christmas is in summer for us so but I just thought that you know that sentiment kind of works for the photo and I just I thought it was cute so I went with it anyway and now I think I'm going to add not I think I know I am going to add some clear stickers as well oh I thought about adding in some labels because the inspiration piece had labels I know it's it's really hard to tell because the inspiration piece is so small but it had some labels as elements and I had pulled out some to add to my page but it just wasn't going to work with the sort of look that kind of had ended up happening so I pulled out the clear stickers from the pebbles one of the pebbles Christmas collections which were my main collections I was trying to work through for this July series and I add in a few little red flower pieces kind of tucked into my clusters just to add a little bit of again different texture a little bit of different interest um, and I do, I lift up that flower that I've put down at the end of the word stay because I actually add a little elf in um, before the word cozy. I'm about to add it in now, I think. So I tried to get a few other little Christmas kind of elements on the page, but I just didn't want to take away from the layout. So I, I tried some candy canes. I wanted to get this elf on because my son is wearing an elf kind of costume so I wanted to get that one little elf on but I needed to lift up that red flower at the end of the word stay so I just added that in to my cluster kind of tucked it in under the paper strip and I'm pretty sure I'm finished <laughs> I'm pretty sure actually I don't do anything else I just show you now what I used so I'm going to pull out the um distress inks that I use I'm just clearing up my space and the stamp and I'm about to show you so that you can see that pause the video if you want um, but I'm just showing you that so that you can see how I kind of stamped all of that and made it all come together because I didn't do my stamping on camera I just wanted to make sure that you saw those that's what I've gone to get the stamp it's um in a different place in my room uh, and so I just wanted you to be able to see it so I am quite happy to show that if you would like to see how I did the stamping or you're interested in seeing me stamp and fussy cut I can absolutely do another video that kind of shows you some of the techniques I use for stamping on my page um, I hadn't actually stamped with the stress oxides before so that was an interesting um it kind of is an interesting technique uh, and that definitely gives you a very different look than what what would happen if I stamped with regular ink and so yeah I would I would recommend it it does take way longer to dry that's what I will say just make sure you give it a lot of time to dry otherwise you'll smudge it when you go to fussy cut but yeah that's how it all it all came together that was the colors that I used and now I thought about adding some enamel dots again the inspiration piece had enamel dots but I do decide not to and to leave it just as it is and you will see a photo coming up for the close-ups 
definitely go and check out all the other ladies who will be linked down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed my take on this week's sketch um, or this week's layout inspiration and that you're enjoying being inspired to use mixed media. Again, I know I'm not you know, the most mixed media-esque person out there, but I am definitely getting more and more into mixed media um, and I'm enjoying it a hell of a lot. So I really thank you guys for watching and I hope you're enjoying our series and definitely check out the other ladies and we will see you in our next video. Thank you guys so much for watching and here are the close-ups. All right, guys. Bye.